This I'm mixed TV interview is supplied by Wholesale Supply Group. Visit us online at wholesalesupply.us. Can I go? Yeah, you can go. You can go. Okay. You're still on the air, but <laughs> that's all right. Congressman Tim Burchett joins us live from Washington. Congressman, how are you? I am all right. I wish I was back in Tennessee. Well, I'll tell you what's happening here in Cleveland, Tennessee. I've just interviewed uh, Sheridan Mosley, who's our uh, social media uh, coordinator, and does. she actually scheduled your appearance with your people, and she's getting married on Saturday, so we were. I told her I would have a getaway car ready if she needed it. Well, I think somebody needs, everybody's wanting to question my mental capacity. I think, I think you, you need to look no further than your studio. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Congressman Timber, Congressman, I know you're, you're very busy. You got a lot going on up there in, uh, in Washington. Hey, uh, so uh, let, let's, uh, so much to talk about. Let's, let's start here. Uh, of course, uh, officially Congressman uh, Tim Burgess, second uh, district congressman from Knoxville. Government shutdown is uh, scheduled or could happen at 12.01 a.m. on Sunday. You told, uh, you told CNN Sunday that you do not, uh, you know, you don't support the stopgap funding. So uh, the Senate has apparently either worked on a p plan or passed it. Have they passed it uh, to go through the 17th of November? Well, they they tried, but it's got a bunch of Ukraine funding in it. I think it's six point one billion additional dollars that Mitch McConnell has put in there, and um, and it and now the Republicans over there have a problem with it. But that ain't going to pass over here. That's bogus. And you know, and, and the press is all the left wing is all on us because the Republicans control the House, so the Senate is is just as dysfunctional. And the problem is, is that our leadership. And both parties, they're so arrogant, they won't I, – I, and I told them early on, I said, get 15 or 16 of us that are against this thing in a room, and let's talk about it. And they're like, looked at me like, that's the craziest thing I've ever heard in my life. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm thinking, man, y'all wouldn't have survived in the Tennessee legislature because, you know, we, we'd sit down and work stuff out usually and then um, figure out where we could go and, and, and get on it. And this bunch, here it is, 745. And there probably won't be a, a real meeting going on until 1030 or 11 o'clock. But, man, we're going to have a shutdown. We're, we're up against the wall. Mm. You know, and they said, we can't get this done. And then they, they cram a bunch of bills in late at night. So they, oh, look, we were up till 1030. You know, it's just bogus. The whole thing is bogus. We need our leadership needs to get on, get on board and start working and quit with this. All they want to do is cause as much pain as possible on as many legislators that oppose them and all of this is about is staying in power it doesn't, you know the democrats get in power they fund a bunch of woke rainbow stuff and then we get in power and we we spend it on missile defense systems and the bottom line is our fiscal ship is not in order we passed 33 trillion dollars in debt and we are and last night we had a bunch of cost saving bills we couldn't even vote with a Republican majority, we could not even vote to stop um, it, uh, uh, ha uh, our, our um, mil military forces paying for Pride Week. Mm. Now, that is has nothing to do with with what they're supposed to be doing. I mean, I don't, it, you're gay; that's your business. But that just shows you how askew this thing is. And these folks will come home. And I'll guarantee you, they'll start. They'll be fiscal conservatives talking about it, and nobody. And they'll they'll come right back up here. It is a we are in a mess, and people better start paying attention. And this stopgap stuff we're doing, all we're doing is kicking the can down the road, continuing Nancy Pelosi's and Chuck Schumer's um, policies, and and we can do better. We're joined by uh, Second District uh, Congressman uh, Tim Burchett of uh, Knoxville and uh, also former uh, Knox County Mayor. Uh, Congressman, so let me, let me get this right here. You're saying that they will not, they being, I guess, uh, well, who is they? Who, the leadership will not sit down and talk with the 16 or 17 against this? Yeah, yeah, they won't. They won't. And it's, it's just an ego thing. Hmm. It is a complete ego thing, and it's it's ridiculous. It's like last week. Remember when they sent us home, 
and we should have been working over the weekend. Mm -hmm. Well, that uh, we're sitting there in the whip's office, and the whip is the person that they call it whipping the vote. He's the one that counts the vote, and if there's something that the you know the leadership is pushing, and they're the one that that, that goes out and pushes it among the the caucus, the Republican caucus. Democrats have one too, mm -hmm. but. So we're sitting in there, and we're going, we're going to stay all weekend and work on this. They go, okay. Well, about that time, we get a notice from the WIPS office saying that, you know, we've concluded our business, and, you know, everybody be on 24 hours notice, which is basically the same notice they send out every week to tell us to go home. So what do we do? Everybody goes home. And then I'm sitting there, and, we'll, and he said, well, I didn't put that out. And we said, well, who did? And it, and it was... And it was um, the speaker's office, hmm. you know. And so it's just, it's ridiculous. It's on them. They need to lead or get out of the way. You have, uh, you have said that you would consider supporting the ouster of Speaker uh, Kevin McCarthy. Where, where are you on that this morning? Uh, yeah, of course I would support it. Uh, but the problem is we don't have anybody yet that we could put in. So it's not, that, that, that's, and he knows that. But, you know, yesterday the, the moderates were meeting, apparently a bunch of them, and they're trying to get a candidate, which is unusual. That's the middle-of-the-road folks, I guess you'd call them. Um, I'd just call them, they would have been liberals. They, they're, they're just liberals but then as Republicans, but they're looking for somebody. And, um, you know, I don't know. I don't know. There's not enough votes to – there might be enough votes to, to – kick him out, there's ain't no votes to put anybody else in. And then we back into that 15 or 16 rounds of, of votes, and we don't need that. The country doesn't need that, and we know it. So um, mm -hmm. that's, not, that's not an option right now. We're joined by uh, Congressman Tim Burchett, uh, live from Washington this morning. Well, let, let's uh, shift gears a little bit here, because uh, also at the same time, the House Oversight Committee uh, will have their first uh, hearing regarding the impeachment of uh, President Biden this morning at 10 a.m. Uh, what what are you expecting out of that? Are you involved in that hearing, by the way, uh, Congressman? I, I am. I'm on the Oversight Committee. Okay, I'm okay. Very the chairman, Jamie Comer, out of Kentucky. Yes, sir. What, what should we expect out of this uh, this morning? Well, what happened was that the... Uh, uh, the president has said he has no dealings with his son's business. They never talk about it. And then, as it turns out, he hands the phone around to the board meeting at the board meeting to the board members to just to let them know, you know, that that uh, Joe Biden's on board now. And, and the press says there's no connection, no tie-in, nothing illegal. They keep saying that, but it's not true. They've had over, um, they've created 21, 20 or 21 different LLCs limited liability corporations and all these are is just ways to um, launder money so you and they haven't paid taxes on over 20 million dollars so now there's a big I think it's two hundred fifty thousand dollars that a wire was discovered that was sent to um, it was sent and, and the um, the beneficiary was the address of Joe Biden and at that time Hunter was not living with his father so uh, I, what's happening, this is not by accident. This is not by accident. The Democrats are, are leaking some of this stuff. They want, they're, they want rid of him. And they are openly talking about it on the House floor, which to me is a shock. And because um, you're hearing congressmen talking about running for office, running for president, Democrats. And so um, I think you're going to see that noose tightening very, very quick right now. And what they'll do is, I think, um, they'll Hunter will get in some serious trouble, and it'll it'll implicate his father, and his father will um, use his mental capacity as the excuse, and then they'll just walk away, and he won't be the Democrat nominee. Uh, is the ultimate. Um, so, is that you think that'll happen? You think uh, uh, President Biden will just what not run? I do, or they'll be told not to run. Mm. Who, who, embarrassed. who would you? Uh, pardon me, Congressman. Who, who would? Who do you think? Who do you think the Democrats would put out there? Any, any anybody come to mind? 
Yeah, well, the governor of California, as terrible as it is, um, you know, look at, I mean, the Democrats would put Joe Biden out there if he wasn't in all this trouble because, I mean, look at the southern border. Look at all this horrible stuff going on that he's he's orchestrated or allowed to happen. So um, I think it's going to be the governor of California. If you'll notice, the governor of California, um, over the strike of Hollywood, they um, he worked with them, allowing them to get benefits, I believe. And that's when you go on strike, you're not you're not supposed to be able to get benefits. That's only if you're fired or lose your job or the business closes or what have you. But if you voluntarily leave your job, you're not supposed to do that. Well, they passed a bill there, and he he allowed it to come into law. And I I have a sneaking suspicion Hollywood will will start rewriting the history of California, at least the recent history. And um, and and I, I think he's the guy. I mean, he's been to ten, or he's coming to Tennessee. I don't know if he's been there or not, but he's been to Tennessee even to speak to groups. So um, I think he's a viable candidate. And he for them. he's going to debate uh, Governor uh, Ron DeSantis on November thirtieth uh, on the Sean Hannity uh, uh, program on Fox News. Hannity's going to going to moderate that. Uh, did you see Did you see the debate, uh, the uh, Republican debate last night? I, I was watching about i watched about a minute of it because somebody was in the office that wanted to see it i, I usually don't watch debates my theory on debates is that you bring your side i bring my side and we both leave thinking we won but i suspect <laughs> the win the winner of that debate was donald trump because it's just his numbers just keep going up they mm -hmm. slap another indictment on him and his numbers go up again have you endorsed anyone for president yet no, sir. I came off the House floor one day, and they asked me who I was for president, who I was, who I, who I was for, and I said, "I'm for me." And they all took their pencils out and turned around. And said, "Are you running for president?" I said, "No, I'm running for re-election." I said, "I don't get anybody else's business." So, uh, uh, and they all laughed like that, you know. But I, yeah. I, I just don't see that as a, you know, I, Trump. Uh, I, I know the president. He. Um, he even says my name right, Burchett, Burchett, Burchett. That's how he says it. And it, um, <laughs> it, he, he um, and I know him. I know him pretty well, and he knows me. But yeah. uh, and we get along very well. We're joined but by. I, I think. Go ahead. I'm he sorry, Congressman. Be, he'll be the party's nominee. Yeah. We're joined by uh, United States Congressman Tim Burchett of Knoxville. Uh, you were on with us <clears throat> probably at the beginning of August. Guys, I got to tell you, we had you on to talk about the UFO uh, uh, hearings in Congress that had happened in July, and and uh, you you know I've, you've been a, a really a leader uh, nationally in trying to get information to the public. But I will tell you, Congressman, I don't know when the last time I've had more response to an interview that that we've done in many years here uh, from that interview last time. So I got to ask about it. Where are we as far as? Uh, you know, I know there's different names for it, but UFOs, I guess, in the common lexicon. Yeah. Well, where, where is all this right now? Well, I met with Speaker McCarthy about it early on, or, or just when we got back to Washington, and I asked him about a, um, <clears throat> a select committee, which is what we need, because a select committee would have uh, some specific subpoena powers, and we were turned down uh, for that, and, he, and I asked him why. And he said, well, the Intelligence Committee um, got their feathers ruffled, basically. We stepped on their toes. We're doing their job. It's what's happened. And they like to keep everything quiet. And they're basically in a locked room, in a skiff. And, you know, and they're talking missile defense systems and, and all the stuff that um, apparently that we're not fit, uh, us un, un, unwashed humans are not allowed to, uh, um, to contemplate. So um, they got mad because we. What happened really? The reality was it it it, it got worldwide attention. It, mm -hmm. There was more people at that hearing than there's been in the last 15 years. Any hearing, there's over a thousand people. People were lying in the halls. They had to open up another room so people could watch the hearings. And, um, and they got jealous. And now we're. Uh, but McCarthy Speaker did say that we were um, could have another hearing on it. And then, uh, and then that's where we're at. And we're trying to orchestrate that. But right now, during the shutdown, talk of the shutdown, we haven't. Uh, that's been my concentration. 
And, and, and uh, Congressman, just uh, I'm sure you saw the uh, in Mexico what was uh, uh, said to be basically alien uh, corpse, uh, corpses, I don't know how to say that plural, but anyway, uh, what did you make of that? Do you think that was legitimate? It's just me talking. No, I don't. Um, I think the, if, from what I understand, the guy that, that did that, he um, in the past has brought out small, uh, small children dead small children wrapped up as, and wrapped up as mummies. There was a, something that happened about seven or eight years ago. I can't remember the details. And I, and I understood somebody had told me that he was, he was a part of that. And so I just think it's a, I think it's a hoax, but I, you know, I don't need all that. We don't need that to show that there's, that, that that's not, you know, that's not really our purpose. I, I just want, I just want transparency. I want the federal government to come loose with all that information so we can get on the road. We can better understand what's going on and quit covering up this thing. Well, and now they're wanting, now NASA's come out and wants money, you know, um, to study it. And, um, and they've made all these claims. And it's just bogus. Just release yeah. the files. Let, let us study it. Final question, uh, Congressman Tim Burchett. There, there are rumors, there is talk that you may run for governor of Tennessee. Is there any truth to that? Uh, I let people talk. That's fine. I'm, I'm, I'm a United States congressman. I, I don't know. What would it cost to board a, ho a horse in, in Nashville? I got, a, I got My daughter's got two horses there at, at our little farm there in East Knox County. I don't know. That's probably a pretty, pretty pricey venture moving over there. And to run for governor, you really need the, the very wealthy class to be for you because they eventually, you know, because it, it costs them to run a campaign, and they're never for me except the day after the election. And then they call me and say, hey, come on in for a check. We're with you all along. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's not a no, no. Congressman. <laughs> so, <laughs> no. Well, it's yeah. not a yes either. Okay. So you better talk. You might want to talk to Kelly and Isabel Burchett before we make any decisions <laughs> like that. But okay. I appreciate it. Congressman, I know you're very busy. I, I really appreciate you being generous with your time this morning, sir, very much. You guys are great. Always a pleasure. Thank you. Go get them. Keep All right, sir. the truth out there. All right, sir. Thank you very much. Congressman uh, Tim Burchett, Bridget, in a... Uh... Mm-hmm. <laughs> Just, <laughs> He's always fascinating, right? Yeah, I, I don't care if you agree with him or not. I mean, he just, he just puts it on the line, man. And <laughs> <laughs> wow.